So we've got yet another currency out here in D2. Lord knows we were overdue. But you might be wondering, what the hell do I spend them on? Well, don't worry, I got you. Uh, sort of. It's a tricky question I'll explain in a minute. For those of you not in the know, these are deep sight harmonizers, an annoyingly rare currency that you can only get an extremely limited supply of. Six are available total per season in the D2 season pass, three on the free side of the pass and three on the paid side. Basically, if you have a non deep sight version of a weapon that is potentially craftable, you apply the harmonizer to that weapon and Shazam! It is now a deep sight weapon, basically helping out the folks who need to finish up their craftable weapon patterns out here. I'm definitely irked that these are only available via the season pass, but that is probably a video for another day. So what do you spend it on? Unfortunately, the answer is going to be different depending on the player. In my original vision of today's video, I was going to go through and recommend super hot fire craftable weapons like the Techian Force Fusion Rifle. I'm more of a shotgun guy, but if you ever missed out on the OG Zur Ingredient Fusion rifle. No joke, this is just as good. It completely melts people in PvP with the right roll. But Techian is actually one of the many weapons I'm probably going to recommend people don't spend their harmonizer on, even though it's elite. Reason being, it's actually not wildly difficult to get your own deep sight Techian. When Last Wish is the weekly featured raid, you can farm deep sight raid weapons very easily, provided you have a team to farm with. And even if you're a solo player, God love you, you can just hop on LFG and join plenty of other other solo folk who are farming too. You can even get a quest from Hawthorne for a guaranteed last wish deep sight. So really, we're not only looking for high tier craftable weapons, we're also looking for craftable weapons that you can't easily get anywhere else. Final part of the puzzle is what are you personally looking for the most? Are you a PVE player? Are you, God forbid, a PVP player? Do you play on controller or M and K? And maybe the most important question, how much of a sh do you really give about all of this in the first place? AKA maybe you're one pattern away from a complete Techian and you just want to say, eh, f it and finish it off without farming last wish at all, which your call, by the way. Anywho, I'm going to go through what weapons I would recommend you use harmonizers on the most because they're both a very good and b difficult to acquire at the moment if you don't have a crafted version already. PVP weapons up first, then PVE. Notes on where to acquire each gun at the end of the video, by the way. Very important. Be sure to not miss that. But real quick, we got to talk about protection and staying virus free. No, not that, although very important. We're talking about protecting your tech. Heck, boy! Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. And if you're gaming without protection out here, in the year of 2023, you done effed up. But thankfully, NordVPN is here to make things right. With protection against things like DDoS attacks, phishing, password attacks, malware, ransomware, and more, it's no wonder that NordVPN is so damn popular. Your data is always protected by next-generation encryption, and of course, you can use Nord to help you unblock your favorite games and geo-restricted servers and content with just a single click. Click. Don't let your location limit where or who you can play with. And on top of it all, it's risk-free, baby. Yeah, you heard me right. NordVPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee on all purchases. But I doubt you'll even need to think twice because the protection they offer is just that good. Don't wait. Hit up the link in the video description or head over to nordvpn.com slash falloutplaysvpn to get access to an exclusive discount today. All right, on to the weapons. PvP up first, and we are starting with Drang. If you're a PvP player, and especially if you're on controller, Drang is a very easy to use and very effective close to mid-range weapon. Yeah, even though Bungie tried to nerf sidearms in general and Drang directly, it's still top shelf. I kind of hate sidearms when I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, except for the forgiveness, oddly enough. But when I'm on controller, they feel damn good and Drang goes far harder than most. If you've never used a crafted one before, you'll be shocked at how easy it is to rack up kills at mid-range, even in an SMG dominant meta. My Drang has max range because I feel like it has plenty of stability already and the kick pattern is really manageable. Moving target because free aim assist and Zen moment recently got buffed and is meta AF in PvP right now. Next, Round Robin. Round Robin may be my favorite 120 RPM hand cannon right now. Definitely in the top three at bare minimum. 120s are actually really fun in 3v3, and Round Robin just connects like butter. If you haven't 120 would in a minute, might take a little bit of practice, but it'll pay off big time when you're getting deep picks with your team. I prefer using Round Robin on mouse and keyboard, but 120s are fine on controller too. If you want to be spicy, you can roll with Kill Clip in column 4 to lock up some cheeky two-tap kills in PvP. I kind of prefer the neutral game roll though of Keep Away in column 3 and Opening Shot in column 4, although Elemental would also be a good pick 
pick, especially if you're an arc or void player. And speaking of Neo Muna weapons that go hard in PvP, Philo Tactic Spiral. I know, bold of me to recommend any high impact pulse rifle in PvP when this beautiful creature is available to use. But the good news is Philo is an energy weapon. So maybe if you have a cracked kinetic special weapon that you want to pair together with a good long range primary, you'll be set with Philo. High impact pulse rifles are really good in PvP right now. I very much like using them on M and K, but they should be fine with either input method. Keep away Headseeker is my go to combo for PvP right now. But of course, you could also go with Kill Clip or Harmony if you want to make locking up that two burst kill way, way easier. Tunnel Vision Kill Clip in particular could be the easiest two burst kill of your life. But then again, I just love Keep Away way too much. On the kinetic side for the controller folk, you could check out Disparity. High impact pulse rifles like No Time and Philo are highly praised on M and K, but Disparity is a four burst rifle, which for the most part, I hear more praise for from folks on controller. From personal experience, can confirm, felt better on the sticks than on M and K, but you do you. I'm gonna recommend Rapid Hit Headseeker personally, but Eye of the Storm, Moving Target, Kill Clip, even Swashbuckler could all get swapped in and no one would really question you. If you're looking for a PvP hand cannon, check out the Ostringer. Definitely a bold move though, because there are a lot of hand cannons in the game right now, and so many of them are viable in PvP. I really enjoy using Ostringer on controller, but when I play on M and K, I almost never touch it in favor of other things like Hawkmoon, Ace, Luna, Rose, and so on. But again, if you're on the sticks and you haven't really meshed with a good 140 hand cannon yet, Ostringer could be the one that you've been waiting for. Hard recommend Eye of the Storm in column three for better 1v1 dueling, and believe it or not, Zen Moment in column four, again, if you're on controller. Rangefinder used to be the play, but range and zoom are getting big changes in season 22, along with a general nerf for rangefinder. So again, I would probably go Zen Moment. Peace of Mind is my final purely PvP recommendation. Again, the majority of the time I'm in PvP these days, I'm on mouse and keyboard. But when I do plug in the controller, I'm amazed at how quickly I can bowl people over with peace. It's actually really stupid. The easy no thought role is perpetual motion in column three and moving target in column four. If you've got an energy special weapon, you can really rack up easy kills with wink, wink. Harmony can also be pretty dirty on the peace of mind. Just get an easy special weapon kill, swap to peace, and let the destruction commence. And as we change over from PvP to PvE recommendations, the perfect bridge weapon, the Ikelos SMG. Perfect because it's stellar in both PvP and PvE. On the PvP side, Ikelos is a decent option if you never really got the he who shall not be named gun. Dynamics way and rangefinder for Ikelos all day right now. I know, rangefinder is getting reworked in season 22, but when it does, tap the trigger is a good backup option in column four. If you want a PvE Ikelos roll, Feeding Frenzy and Volt Shot is easy breezy. Yeah, Volt Shot got touched a bit by Bungie not too long ago, but it can still light up half the room with free damage no problem. Really, no matter what activity you plan to use it for, great option. Next in PvE land, Hollow Denial. If you're a fairly casual player, you might be shocked to learn that double special weapon loadouts are pretty popular these days. While any trace rifle really would work well with a double special loadout, Hollow Denial gets an extra special shout out for being able to roll lead from gold. That'll make ammo management with your double special loadout a tad easier. Grab an ammo brick for your heavy and your hollow gets extra ammo too. GG. If you want a good primary that fits in well with almost any solar build, Callus Mini Tool is still a great weapon I use on the regular. It fits in amazingly well with a lot of scorch builds and has a great perk combo in unrelenting and incandescent. Enemies get a little extra burn and go boom, all while you comfortably regen health. GG. And last but definitely not least, Forbearance. Arguably one of the best weapons in the game for PvE. Not much has changed since Forbearance dropped into D2. Waveframe grenade launchers are really good, and Forbearance is no exception. It also has access to the wacky, borderline overpowered combo of Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction, which is what most people I know use. I know you can get this weapon when Vow is the featured weekly raid, but if there were ever a f it, just let me be done with the pattern and craft it already weapon. Forbearance is absolutely that gun. Pick it up, craft it, and be an ad clear god in PvE with no effort. All right, regarding how to get these weapons, Philo and Round Robin are Neo Muna weapons which can be earned via doing heroic patrols. Those two are straightforward, and as mentioned, Forbearance is from Vow. All other guns in today's video, I've chatted with a few people and we're fairly certain that they are only available right now via the world loot pool. 
meaning that outside of a very lucky RNG drop, your best bet is watching both Xur and Banshee like a hawk. Both vendors will occasionally feature weapons I've mentioned in today's video. Yeah, I know, very annoying that you have to get lucky with their rotating inventory. But if either of them do have the weapon that you need, all you have to do is just get multiple copies of that weapon and apply deep sight to however many you need to complete the pattern. Remember, Banshee has kind of a glitched rotating inventory that can rotate not only at daily reset, but also in the evening occasionally around 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's kind of odd, but you can keep an eye on the Banshee reset timer at light.gg to know what he has and when either of his inventories will refresh next. If you have any weapons you firmly stand behind for harmonization use, tell me what you think that gun is down in the comment section. Like today's video if it helped you out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.